And then Anderson penetrates against Tariq Grizzlies. No one comes over to, to cut him off. He gets all the way to the basket for the layup. Certainly troubling early on for the Grizzlies because Portland has out-rebounded Memphis 14-7 already. And as I mentioned, Portland, they're 22nd in the league at rebounding. They've been out-rebounded in the last four games. And over the last five games, they've lost three of those contests. But right now, second chance points, 10-2. Grizzlies have come out in this game and have taken a lot of outside shots. They have to now get some penetration. Offensive rebounds already. Portland with six with 10 second chance points. If they continue that, it will be a long night for the Grizzlies. Jason Williams will set it up. Person curling. Here's Powell working down low on the block. Wallace on him. Three on the shot clock. Spins middle. Left hand. Rolls out, tapped up by Battier. Williams tries to keep it alive, but Vonzi Wells tears it down. Excellent job by Shane, fighting on the offensive glass. Someone's being active. Wells got it. 52% from the field. The Grizzlies are really struggling. Just 6 of 18, 33%. They're two for their last 11. Portland has gotten into a nice offensive rhythm. Nice pass by Jason. We see him and Powell connect on that play time and time again with the defense cheating across the cross screen. Powell stops. Jason throws the lob up to him. It's now 16-6 points in the paint. Blazers, of course, plus 10 of that category. Randolph on underneath. Tapped up. Another chance for Randolph. Randolph already busting through with 11 points. Hawk, you talked about how impressive he's been this year, but Stroh gets two back. He's already three points higher than his season average. And we're in the first quarter. And Randolph, he's going early by sheer hustle, determination. He's outworking the Grizzlies here in the first quarter. Eight-point advantage for the Trailblazers as we take a break with 2.15 remaining in the quarter. It's 28 to 20. The Memphis Grizzlies struggling now. Bonzi Wells got it. Ooh, you're a naughty little boy, aren't you? Keep it up, and I'm gonna give you a spanking. I'll teach you the meaning of respect. You're not getting any of my butt light. Do you hear me? No kisses for you. Not till you learn to obey me. Now, get down on all fours. <laughs> for the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a butt light. When you need to be moving, you need to call on Ewing. We'll get it done. You can trust Ewing Moving Service to save you time and worry on your next move. Ewing delivers quality packing, storage, and relocation services. Corporate relocations and office moves are our specialty. A name you can trust. Call 774-2197. Get Ewing on the move. Call Ewing Moving Service. Ewing Moving Service, official mover of the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, lunch. We've got two chicken club toasters and a breakfast toaster. Who got the breakfast toaster? Oh, that's me. Right. It's toaster time anytime month at Sonic, featuring our family of toaster sandwiches. From our breakfast toaster sandwiches to our chicken club toaster, now you can get a thick, delicious toaster morning, noon, or night. Only at Sonic. Trailblazers by eight, 215 remaining in the first quarter. Fox Sports Net introduces 54321, the only show taking you inside the world of extreme sports every weeknight. BMX rider Kip Williamson, free surfer Chad Towersey, and Leanne Tweeden are the experts bringing you the entire world of extreme sports all in one place with breaking news, event highlights, inside of features that you won't find anywhere else. 54321 tonight, 1030 Eastern only on Fox Sports Net, and of course, 10.30 Central as well. Zach Randolph early. Five offensive rebounds dominating every shot that goes up. He's put it, getting a hand on it. Someone has to box him out. Eight-point game for the Portland Trailblazers. Three in the face of Battier. 
What more could you do? Good defense, but it's stop, tough to stop a team when they have their offensive rhythm going, and it started with the transition baskets. Battier has it knocked away. Williams. In Portland, the Blazers, they're the type of team. Now they have their rhythm offensively. Their defensive intensity has also picked up. Grizzlies having a difficult time scoring and getting good shots. Randolph backing down, spins along the end line. And a foul is going to be charged to Mike Batiste. Batiste, 15 points and 11 rebounds, as we mentioned, against the Clippers. Tough matchup for Batiste on the box. Randolph has the size as well as the strength advantage, taking advantage of that, couple of dribbles, getting to the hole. But the help early in the game by the Grizzlies has not been there. They need to recognize the mismatches and go help make the Portland Trailblazers make the extra pass. And as we mentioned, for the Trailblazers, this game certainly of significant value with Minnesota and the Lakers right there on their backs. They can feel them breathing down their neck. And the Lakers hold the tiebreaker with, of course, the Portland Trailblazers. Battier cutting down Logasol away from the block. He'll face up for in the shot clock. Take to Jay. No. And a loose ball foul is going to be charged to Mike Batiste as he was leaning in. So two quick fouls on Batiste, and that certainly stings the Grizzlies as Ryan Humphrey will check in for Memphis. Grizzlies already thin on the front line. Can't afford to have the guys that are going to play significant minutes tonight pick up cheap fouls. You have to be very careful and very selective when you're aggressive or when you make that extra pump to go get the ball. Randolph misses the free throw shot. Randolph, 77% on the season. Arvita Sabonis, the veteran Lithuanian, checks in. Of course, did not play last season for Portland. Returned from retirement. As Rashid Wallace is replaced. Jeff McGinnis also on the floor. Both are missed. Ryan Humphrey momentarily lost it. BK along with Gasol, Humphrey, Batiste, and Earl Watson on the floor for Hubie Brown. Dribble drive and a foul. Good job by Brevin Knight of attacking. Excellent job by Brevin. Going to the basket, creating the contact, jumping right into Sabonis, getting to the free throw line. Brevin has struggled this season from the free throw line, 67%. Now 19 of 34. 19 to 35, he misses both. Grizzly shooting just 36%. Portman, 54% here in the first quarter. When you're shooting the basketball that poor, you can just hope to hang on, not let Portland get too big of a lead. And remember, early in the first quarter, they had, after missing the first three, connected on four. Four. Wells, another second chance opportunity on the tap pass to Randolph. Excellent touch pass by Bunsey Wells. Thinking ahead, Zach Randolph wide open for the tip in. Randolph is just three rebounds shy of a double double hawk. 14 point game. Putting up Tim Duncan numbers. He's putting up big time numbers. Watch him. And the Memphis Grizzlies struggle here in the first quarter, shooting just 35%. Out of rebounded 20 to 8. At one point, it was 14 7. So they've been out of rebounded 6 to 1. Early on. Memphis was sharp. Can they get back in it in the second quarter? Down 14 to Portland. What's good? Sam? Subway's new Italian herb and cheese. The taste will bring you to your knees. Great bread makes a sandwich a true taste delight. You'll see for yourself with just one bite. Subway, eat Nice pass to Battier, slam dunk. Right now at Subway, buy any foot-long fresh value meal and get a 32-ounce Grizzlies collectible Big Sipper for just a buck ninety-nine. Collect all three: Shane Battier, Jason Williams, and Lorenzen Wright. 
Hi, I'm Shane Battier of the Memphis Grizzlies. Shane Battier, he spends more time on the floor hustling for loose balls than anybody I know in the league. Our fans are the Grizzlies' six man. Your support and cheering helps make the difference in close games. Everybody here on their feet at the pyramid. We want to make sure you're safe, so you'll keep coming back to support us all season long. Don't foul out. Make the right call. Before you enjoy a drink, make plans for a safe ride home. Remember, booze it and lose it. The first major advance for the fastest treatment of athlete's foot is Lamisil AT. Lamisil AT is the first non-prescription medicine proven to kill the fungus with just one week's use. Not even a prescription can beat that. Lotrim and AF and Tanactin still expect you to treat for four weeks. Who's going to do that? When your feet itch and burn, using Lamisil AT one week keeps you athlete's foot free three months. Lamisil AT. There's no better way to cure athlete's foot. Now on pay-per-view, a man with a summons to serve. Sarah Moore, you are being sued. There must be some mistake. A woman with a score to settle. I want revenge. And a chance to get everything they deserve. I said help me, not upstrike me. Matthew Perry, Elizabeth Hurley, Bruce Campbell, and Cedric the Entertainer. Serving Sarah. Now on pay-per-view. Rated PG-13. Blockbuster pay-per-view movies. Tune to the 100s and order with your remote. You're watching Fox Sports Net. As we begin play here, start of the second quarter, Portland on top by 14, and we want to thank our partners at Time Warner Cable. They not only provided the T-shirts, but they've helped Fox Sports Net bring Grizzlies telecast to your home all season long. Tonight, a lot of happy folks with free T-shirts provided by... Time Warner Cable. Stoudemire along with McGinnis, Randolph, Wells, and Arvidas Sabonis. Wells has been asking for that basketball a long time in the corner, and finally the defense caught up to him, and finally the basketball got to him. Another offensive rebound put back, counted his eighth rebound. He has 16 points, and Randolph heads to the free throw line. Let me correct myself on that rebound. That was his ninth. Well, Matt, eventually someone will realize this guy can offensive rebound, and that's what he's looking to do out there on the floor. As soon as the shot goes up, he's slashing to the basket. Everyone's watching the basketball instead of paying attention to where he's at. Portland on a 19-4 run, and you see how they have dominated the Grizzlies here in the first half. Randolph with 17 points and nine rebounds, and... Certainly, he can get the start at center alongside of Rashid Wallace. Of course, now he slides over to the four because the Grizzlies just don't have any physical presence on the inside to manage him. Humphrey drives, gives it to Robert Archibald. Here's BK. Nice pass underneath. Batista unable to handle it, and McGinnis looks to push. Randolph off glass. No, Archibald flies in the rookie out of Illinois. Chosen in the second round by the Grizzlies. Humphrey denied by Arvita Sabonis. Got to watch Sabonis when you drive into the basket. Don't lay it up there for him to block. Go right into his body. Sabonis leaning back on Archibald to the cutting. McGinnis on the outside. That's Quintel Woods. Woods, of course, from Memphis, out of Northeast Mississippi Community College. Number one round draft pick by Portland. Grizzlies are stuck here on 20. In the basket of free throw something. Last time they scored, 225 remaining in the first quarter. There you go, a three by Watson. This is the group that can turn it around. This is the defensive unit, the scrappy unit that Hubie puts in the game to get the Pace up, helter-skelter, up and down the floor. Portland doesn't seem to mind this pace, as we talked about early on, as Randolph is having himself one hey, of his best his nights, 19 hey. points and 10 rebounds, and we still have 9.53 remaining in the first half. The Sabonis hit him with a nice lob pass. He caught it in the air, shot it in, soft touch. McGinnis comes down again in transition, the defense Having trouble setting up, not communicating in transition. McGinnis knocks down the 15-foot jumper. 
20-point lead. The largest for Portland. And a timeout taken by the Memphis Grizzlies. Smiles abound for the Portland Trailblazers. They are simply dominating the Grizzlies here on their home floor. Thanks for letting me bring Fifi. Oh, anything for you, baby. I'd give you the moon. The stars. And the ultimate love potion. Ice cold but light. Mm. Whoa. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Make it a Bud okay, Light. Don't worry, I got him. I got him. Ooh. On its own, money is not smart. <laughs> It needs instruction, guidance, like the kind offered at First Tennessee. Our financial professionals help you straighten out retirement plans, get a loan, plan for college, and get your financial goals in order so your money has what it takes to wise up and work harder. And that's smart. First Tennessee, all things financial. When athletes sweat, they lose more than just water. Gatorade puts back sodium and potassium, proven to replenish and rehydrate athletes better than water. Gatorade, is it in you? Tomorrow, another full weekend of racing action continues with Bush Series Racing presented by Subway from Nashville, followed by Winston Cup practice on FX. Sunday, start your day with NASCAR this morning, presented by Smirnoff Ice, Triple Black, and Fox Sports Net, followed by Winston Cup Racing from Martinsville on Fox. NASCAR continues this weekend across the Fox Networks. Career high numbers, February 28th against uh, the Clippers, 21 points and 12 rebounds on that evening, and already with 19 and 10. And Big smiles for him. It is now 43-25. Well, just as easily as Portland got this lead, if the Grizzlies don't panic and keep their composure, cut into this lead, halftime, get it to single digits. Watson, the only member of the second unit to score, he has five. And on the turnover, Memphis has possession of the basketball. Grizzlies shooting now 39%. Portland 56. Rasheed Wallace back out on the floor. VK left wide open. Nice ball rotation by the Grizzlies. One side of the floor to the other. VK wide open. Made it count. It was this second unit that did the job against the Los Angeles Clippers as BK is going to be charged with a foul as he went into strip woods of the basketball. And that got the Grizzlies rolling. BK was very close to picking up the steal. He and Woods got their feet tangled up when Tell went down. That's where the foul was committed. 8-37 remaining in the second quarter. Portland Trailblazers on the season, 48 and 30 on the road. They are 23 and 16. McGinnis, and it rolls out. BK pushing. Watson to Batiste. Batiste gets a technical foul. Called by Ken Mao. Good call by Ken. A little too much celebration by Batiste. It was a good play, good pass. He dunks it, but you can't do a pull-up and slap the backboard. If someone was underneath him and was forcing him to do that, then the official would let it go. But he was by himself. No need for that. Easy call. And with Derek Anderson on the court, the ball will always go to him as he steps to the line because he's made now 45 of his last 48. Impressive. <laughs> he better be at the free throw line. No one else <laughs> better not run up there. <laughs> better than 93%. He's 17th in the NBA in free throw shooting percentage. 85% is overall mark. Sabonis puts it on the floor and sheds 
Archibald like a fly and a foul. <laughs> what is Sabonis doing trying to beat someone off the dribble? They could have done that maybe 10 years ago, but not now. Good defense by Archibald. Arts probably just couldn't get out of the way. <laughs> Under eight minutes remaining in the first half. Watson connects once again. Three of four has seven points. Earl Watson, he's feeling it. No hesitation on the jump shot. Raising up, looking good early. 8-1 run by the Memphis Grizzlies. You talked about this second unit. They certainly have the defensive mindset and they have trimmed a 20-point lead now down Mo Cheeks calls a timeout it's 13-point game Get in the zone. Auto zone. if you haven't changed the oil in your car in the last three months or 3,000 miles then you need to get in the zone auto zone you see, if you don't change your oil and replace the filter often enough, then you'll do a lot of damage to your engine, and that'll lead to some costly repairs down the road. So get to AutoZone right now. Change your oil and get more life out of your car. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Two carrots will do, but four will do more. <laughs> so I said, oh, yes. make it a steak quesadilla. <laughs> a higher class of quesadilla has arrived. Taco Bell steak quesadilla, marinated carne asada steak and three rich melted cheeses. And they serve you right in your car. Mm -hmm. Upgrade to steak, think outside the bun. Spice up the night, open till 1 a.m. or later. 13-point game, 7-48. Remaining of the second quarter. Time now for the Bell South trivia question. Al Gasol, the only player to have appeared in every Memphis Grizzlies game. Who has the second most games as a Memphis Grizzly? Jeff McGinnis. Here's Quintel Wood spinning. Gives it to Sabonis. Four on the shot clock. Hook. Get up, bro. Rattles in and out. The Grizzlies have made their last five on an 8-1 to run. The defensive intensity is picking up. More importantly, they're getting back in transition. Taking away Portland's transition basket. Watson was corralled. And a jump ball is called. That's a mobbing in there. Trying to penetrate. Three blazers around. Derek Anderson reaches in, gets the jump ball. Good defense, cutting off the lanes by the Blazers. Woods out, Randolph back out on the floor. Sabonis out. Wallace on the floor along with Derek Anderson, Jeff McGinnis, and Bonzi Wells. Second unit still on the court for Hubie Brown. I expect Earl Watson to win this tip. He can get up. But Anderson got up higher. Got up higher and won that tip with ease. Surprising. Looked like Earl Watson didn't get off the ground. It did not. D.A. out on the wing, guarded by Watson. Puts it on the deck, clears himself of Earl, and the shot spills out, and Batiste handles it. His first rebound of the night. Archibald underneath has it swatted away. Got to be strong with the basketball. The Blazers are coming when you get the ball on the box. Baseline, McGinnis. He'll set it up. Randolph to Wallace underneath. And a foul on Humphrey. And he will shoot two on the foul by Ryan. Time for the Bell South trivia answer. Yes, Pau Gasol is the only player to have cleared in every Memphis Grizzlies game, 160. Second vote, Shane Battier, 152. Not surprising, then. Of course not. Close behind. 
Not surprising either with the amount of injuries that the Grizzlies have sustained over the last two years. That Powell's the only player to have appeared in every <laughs> Grizzly game. You see it, Wallace misses the front end. Wallace 73% on the season. Tonight, two of three has eight points and five rebounds. And it has been Zach Randolph so dominant. 19 points, 10 rebounds. Wallace misses both. And Portland has been silent. The Grizzlies. I would like to see PK come down and run a play for Earl Watson. They've been silent up until this. They hadn't scored for some time. In fact, just one point over three minutes in a 15-second stretch. Good anticipation by Anderson. Reading the play, coming up with the steal. Getting an easy two points. DK down along the end line, now brings it back. Archibald driving, stripped of the basketball. And he will head to the line. Good defense by Anderson, reading the play up top, coming all the way off of Earl Watson, who was his man in the opposite corner. Good defense. Easy two. Wells just earned his second. Archibald has not played much. This is his 10th appearance on the season, has spent the majority of the season on the injured list. And he is just 4 of 11 from the free throw line as Battier replaces Humphrey. Jason Williams back out on the floor. Hey, I got it out. Let's go. Important minutes for Archibald to go out and show that that he's ready to play in the NBA. Has sat all season long. Now he's getting an opportunity. He has to make the most of it. He needs to make those free throws. Misses both of them. Grizzlies trail by 15. Randolph, guarded by Archibald. Spins end line, and Battier is going to be charged with a foul. As he came over to help along the end line. And Gasol will check back out on the floor, replacing Archibald. Back Randolph getting plenty of touches early in the basketball game. I guess when you've scored 19 of 10 rebounds, coach will put the ball in your hand. Well, he's 8 of 13. So many options for the Portland Trail Blazers. Dribble penetration, and it rolls off the iron. You saw with the rebound, the Grizzlies looking to push. Battier driving. Off glass. And they're calling an offensive foul on Battier. Battier just picked up his second. Shane knew it. Went to the basket. She Wallace waiting for him. Difficult to tell from that angle. That's the better angle. You see, he pushes off with the left arm. Again, Ken Maurer, good call. Tough call for the Grizzlies as they try to put together a run. Wallace slicing through. Ball poked away. Scooped up. Randolph forces, no. Wallace takes it away from Gasol. And the lead stretched back up to 17. And Powell continues to look at the referees every time he loses the basketball or Portland strips it away from him. You have to get out of that habit of looking at the officials. Jay Will and Powell connect once again. 15 point game. If they could whittle this thing down to around 10 prior to halftime, that'd be something else. Remember the Grizzlies trailed by 20. Damon Stoudemire stripped in the lane. Watson ahead to Jason. In the corner, Battier jumps it on the inside. Gasol, spin move, and a foul. Unable to finish, he'll head to the free throw line. Good ball movement in transition. Shane Battier for the second time in the game actually has the three-pointer in the corner, decides to throw it into the box. Kyle Gasol operating, gets two free throws. Another double-double for Powell on Tuesday night against the Clippers. Gasol, over his last three games, he has three straight double-doubles, averaging over 22 points and 11 rebounds. And during that span, shooting 80% from the free throw line. 
that stretch continues this season. He is now 22 of his last 27 from the free throw line. And the Grizzlies have cut it once again to 13. Starts with Dehawk. Swift comes over, and a foul's going to be charged to Battier. It has definitely been the defense here in the second quarter that has ignited this comeback, and it started with the second unit. That unit coming in, getting things going for the Grizzlies as Bonzi Wells, one dribble to the basket, straight line. Tough for the help to get there in time when an offensive player to take one dribble and he's in his shooting motion. Battier will have to leave. He has three personal fouls, and Mike Batiste enters for the Grizzlies. Puts Mike and on the floor in a different position, a position that he's not as familiar with, as we talked about in the interview. He is more comfortable down low on the blocks at the four and the five than he is right now playing at the small forward because it leaves him out on the perimeter. He's not a very good three-point three shooter, yet he can get rebounds and work 10 feet and in. Swift with the up fit in the lane. Blocked. No call. And a foul on Jason Williams. That's a clear case of making things a little more difficult than they are. Throw him out right at the free throw line. He can make that shot eight out of ten times. Raise up and just shoot it. He tried to get in close and made it a so little more difficult. Blaze has come up with a good block shot. Wells, 11 points. Second leading scorer for Portland. Most teams try to limit, certainly, Portland and put them into a half-court set, but the Grizzlies excel getting up and down. And so that's a style that they want to play this evening, but right now Portland certainly having their way with the Grizzlies as they try to battle back. Wesley Person gives it back to Powell. QB Brown furious, no call, and finally a whistle is going to be called, and UB Brown is talking with Joe DeRosa. He said, listen, I have a tough enough time tonight because we're taking on the Portland Trailblazers. <laughs> when there's a foul, please blow a whistle. Yeah, the foul may have happened a couple of seconds before we got back to the replay, but Kyle Gasol didn't let it bother him, still made a strong, aggressive move to the basket. She Wallace picks up another foul. Grizzlies. Trailing 52-36 with 3.37 remaining in the second quarter, and they've really cranked it up here in the second quarter. They're now shooting 45% from the field. And Gasol gets a second. Now Gasol has six straight points for Memphis. If you're the Grizz is 10 overall, pardon me. Oh, if you're the Grizzlies, you have to think, just chip away at the lead. You can't get it all back at one time. Take your time, be patient. 15 points, once again, the deficit. And that spills out. Gasol controls his fifth rebound. Jay Will into the front court. Dribble drive, gives it in the corner. Batiste for three, got it! That's a huge three by Batiste on the season. 20%. And against Portland, he had not hit a three this season. And they've made seven of their last eight. Excellent dribble penetration by Jason Williams. 12-point game. Wells travels with the basketball, and Mike Batiste, after knocking down the three, comes back at the defensive end and cuts off Wells and causes the travel. And a timeout on the floor as the Memphis Grizzlies have sliced into that 20-point lead of the Portland Trail Blazers. It is now 52-40. to 40. Portland, Batiste spotting up in the corner. How's this, guys? It's great. It's great. So, do you like the job, rookie? Next. You missed a spot. <laughs> rookie, you got to work tomorrow. You sure? Are you a real fireman? He sure is.
bringing neighbors together. Nice to That's you. what Applebee's is all about. How do you find getting sick when you read in a car? Well, you don't read. Anything else? Hmm. Good. This custom hydraulic system gains international appeal after a showcase at an auto show. Center stage? It was in the back, but had good foot traffic anyway. The mechanic uses FedEx Global Trade Manager to help find and print shipping documents, estimate duties and taxes, and they're on the international scene before you can say later hose. Later hose. Too late. That was fast. Not fast enough. Later hose. Are you a real fan? Want to see the replay? We will. Want to be courtside? Have you ever been in a locker room? Need a photo? Need a score? When is game time? Did you catch that? And looking for some stuff? Then log on to NBA.com and check out all your favorite NBA apparel. To shop, log on to NBA.com or America Online keyword NBA.com. What are you doing? Experience the NBA online. NBA.com. Portland by 12, 251 remaining in the second quarter. Tonight of the best damn sports show period. Guys, welcome Sacramento Kings owners Joe and Gavin Maloof as they talk about their team's chances to win the NBA championship. Plus, Oakland A's pitcher Barry Zito and bull rider Chris Sheevers. He drops by the best damn sent to talk sports with the guys. Best damn sports show period tonight at 10 o'clock Central only on Fox Sports Net. Grizzlies doing a better job in the second quarter protecting their, the offensive rebound. First quarter, Portland dominated the offensive glass. Eight, second quarter, only three. Here's Gasol. Five of the shot clock. Gives it up. Person for three. No. Long rebound handled by Wells. Only two field goals the last seven minutes for Portland. Stoudemire, along with Anderson, Wells, Wallace, and Randolph on the floor for Portland. Wells faces up on Batiste, shoots over him. Shot, rattles around, and Swift with a rebound. And Portland has been limited to one shot. Person in transition, the three, no. That's Wes's shot. And Wesley Person can't find the range early. 0-4 from downtown. Take away. Dribble drive. Count it. Ten point game, Hawks. All of a sudden, the Grizzlies are back into it. Defensively doing an excellent job. Jason Williams in transition. Second time tonight, getting all the way to the hoop. Using his speed. Do more of that. And he'll have a great night. 19 9 run put together by Memphis. Here's Stoudemire looking for a shot. Jay Will closes. Strips the basketball. Loose ball on the floor. Gobbled up by Stoudemire. Shot no. Tapped out. Stoudemire once again spins away from Batiste. And they'll slow it up. And a person that slowed it up, Rasheed Wallace. That's because he had direct vision from head coach <laughs> Mo Cheeks. He saw Cheeks saying, hey, pull it back. Straighten this thing out. Randolph through the wickets. Person to Powell. Is that a hot potato or a basketball? That's what happens when you don't get the ball in the hands of the point guard. Somebody break out the rosin. Wesley Person breaking out with three. Seven point game. One thing we know for sure, Wesley Person won't stop shooting a three-pointer if he's open. He's one of five, and it's a 22-9 run. Managed by the Grizzlies, starting with their defense. Under 10 to the shot clock. D.A. pulls out of the lane, setting up Randolph underneath. And Randolph, just a tenacious uh, finish. Tying his career best, 21 points. Two rebounds away from tying his career high in boards. You see the differential, shot clock, game clock. Nine point game. Jason has not had a problem getting by Stoudemire here in the first half. Five of the shot clock, four of the shot clock. Does it go? No, but he'll head to the line. As he was in the act, Jason Williams putting the ball on the floor and going to the hole on Stoudemire. One on one by himself at the top of the key. Jason Williams, very difficult to guard. See Stoudemire gets him down low with the arm, pushes him from behind. Jason, 
two free throws can cut the lead to seven again. Count it. Grizzly, seven of 11 from the free throw line. Wells and Wallace out. Woods. McGinnis on the floor, so Watson will check in. Williams, when he is successful, the Grizzlies are successful. Gets a second. McGinnis. Pardon me, Anderson. No. The Grizzlies did an unbelievable job, Hawks. After trailing by 20, they went on a 24-9 run. It is now 54-47 Portland as we go to halftime. The Grizzlies showing their toughness, their determination, not quitting. Excellent second quarter. Got themselves back in the game. It is halftime here at the Pyramid. We'll be back right after these messages. Underway here, just underway. First 10 seconds of the second half. Zach Randolph along with Wallace, Anderson, Stoudemire, and Bonzi Wells. Randolph back and down on Gasol. Weak side help. Swift came over. Stoudemire pokes it away, saves it. And and they a new shot clock. 36, 36. Actually, I guess we get a 24 second shot clock violation. That's right. Because no change of possession. 54 47. Good defense by Powell, as well as Jeremiah Swift coming over with the help to start the third quarter. Grizzlies need to come out active. Powell underneath. Excellent job by Gasol underneath. Fighting through the lane and then getting the deuce. He has a dozen. An excellent cross screen by Wesley Person to free power up. It is a five-point game, Hawk. Who would have imagined midway through the first quarter? Wells connects. Identical starting five for Memphis. Williams, Gasol, Swift, Battier, and Person. Gasol underneath. And he was looking for Battier in the corner, batted out of bounds in 11 seconds remaining in the shot clock. The Grizzlies like to do this to start the game, also to start the third quarter, come out and get Powell involved in the game early, get him some touches on the box. There he is, backing down on Wallace. Spins over that left shoulder, short tap, no, but Swift flies in. That's where he's so effective. Shane Battier keeping the ball alive initially with the first tip. Stromile Swift cleaning it up. Well, we talked about that matchup at the top of the show. Swift with eight points and four rebounds in 16 minutes of action. Oh! Randolph, he has been superb. A new career best, 23 points on 10 of 18 Fish! shooting. Fish! Zach Randolph with the pick and roll. Rolling to the basket. Defense a little late. Williams holds it out high on the dribble. Looking for the curling person, setting up strong. Woo! What a play! Great pass by Wesley Person. But when you're throwing it up to throw my Swift, every pass looks great. Swift with 10 points. Battier trying to deny Bonzi. He has to be careful. He has three personal fouls. Wells from the outside. It's two. Bonzi Wells coming out hot from the field. 
Shooting from the outside. He likes to drive to the basket, but it's very capable of knocking down the outside shot. Seven-point game now. Person deep in the corner on the near side. Spins in line, and Anderson touches it. And last touch by Wes, and it's Portland basketball. We'll see if Portland comes back to the pick and roll on the perimeter with Bonzi Wells. They've been successful the last two possessions. First on the roll to Zach Randolph, and Bonzi Wells came right back and knocked down the outside shot. Anderson from the outside. No. Swift collects. That's his fifth pool. Anderson has been short on his jumpers here the entire game. West struggling from the outside, although on that massive run back in the second quarter when the Grizzlies went on a 24-9 run, he did hit that big three. And Wesley, one of five from downtown. Derek Anderson, he's not giving him much breathing room. Battier. Battier coming off the screen, fading to the corner. J. Will hitting him in rhythm. Nice execution. He's averaged double figures over the last six weeks. Wells knows. Zach Randolph knows. Jason, here's Battier for three. Got it. Two-point game. And Mo Cheeks wants a timeout. And the Grizzlies down 20 at one stage have cut it to an unimaginable two-point deficit outscoring Portland 11 to 6 in this quarter Battier shooting at home 48 percent from three-point range get in the zone Auto zone you know, there aren't many things on a car that are more important to your safety than the brakes. So if you've been driving for a while with the same set of brake pads, then you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. At AutoZone, we've got everything you need for a brake job, and it's easy to do. So don't put it off any longer. Play it safe and avoid an accident. Get to AutoZone for a new set of brake pads today. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Get off the phone. Clean your room. Do it. Because. I. Sit. So, what kind of bread do you want? I'll take that one. Our new Italian herb and cheese? It's baked with oregano, garlic, Monterey, and cheddar. That's the one. Whatever you say. Yeah, whatever I say. Subway, eat fresh. Nice pass to Battier, slam dunk. Right now at Subway, buy any foot-long fresh value meal and get a 32-ounce Grizzlies collectible Big Sipper for just a buck ninety-nine. Collect all three. Shane Battier, Jason Williams, and Lorenzen Wright. Ooh, you're a naughty little boy, aren't you? Keep it up, and I'm gonna give you a spanking. I'll teach you the meaning of respect. You're not getting any of my butt legs. Do you hear me? No kisses for you. Not till you learn to obey me. Now, get down on all fours. <laughs> for the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a butt light. Grizzlies here already in the second half have three offensive rebounds. One of them was right here. The monster finish by Stromile Swift coming out in the third quarter a lot more aggressive. He can afford to be a little more reckless now. No fouls in the first half. Give it all you have now. The Grizzlies have outscored Portland over the last 13 minutes. And 15 seconds, 35 to 17. Memphis out of rebounding Portland, 5 to 2. Here in the third quarter. Wallace down low on the block, started by Swift. Battier comes down. Wallace got it. Rasheed Wallace has 12 points and 6 rebounds. He can dominate when he wants to. He sure can. Whenever Portland needs a basket, they put the ball in his hands. Their top score averages 18.2, seven and a half rebounds. And one block a game. Gasol spills out. And after the timeout, Portland attacking the iron. Jeremiah Swift almost came up with a fantastic offensive tip over the back. Just couldn't get the other hand on the ball. Offensive foul on Bonzi Wells. Good call. As Wells is trying to clear out Battier, and Bonzi disagrees. Now they could have picked either offensive foul or traveling. 
Yes. That was the arm pushing off. Good defense by Shane, cutting off the lane to the basket. The third out of Wells. He has 16 points. Jason Williams with Stoudemire in his face finds Person, 10 of the shot clock. Memphis trailing by four. J. Will kicks it out. West leaning. Two point game. Great shot by Wesley Person. As you see Portland taking away the three pointer, they're crowding him, making him put it down. Nice shot with the leader. Portland over the last five games, as I've mentioned, they are two and three, averaging just 89.6 points a game, although they're holding opponents to 88 points a game. They have the sixth best defense in the NBA. Wells up fake, gets by Battier. Battier closes again, and it's Memphis basketball. Opportunity to tie or take the lead on this possession. Portland all of a sudden, offense not running as crisp. Grizzlies taking them out of their sets. A lot of one-on-one -on -one play here in the third quarter out of the Blazers. Just saw it to the cutting Battier. It's tied at 62. Great cut by Shane. As he and Jason ran a little two-man game at the top of the key. Shane Battier to the basket for the layup. Randolph. Stoudemire gets in the circle, cut off by Swift. Seven on the shot clock. In the corner, Wallace for three. Rolls out, Randolph on the offensive glass, but taken away by Swift. Excellent defensive possession by the Grizzlies. No, but he'll go to the line. And a foul on Damon Stoudemire as Jason steps to the stripe. Jason, excellent job tonight in transition going to the basket, putting the pressure on Portland, but also there are times when he recognized they had the numbers, pulled up, passed it to someone for the jumpers. Excellent decision making out of Jason tonight so far. That gives the Grizzlies a one point lead. The last time they led it was 9-8. And gets both, and the Grizzlies by two, and how will Portland respond? shooting 44%. Memphis now shooting 51%. That's a huge turnaround from the first quarter when they were shooting 36%. The Grizzlies just couldn't connect on anything, but that second quarter for Portland was dismal. Spit and locked Wells. No. Another rebound for Randolph, and he is fouled, and Randolph has 14 rebounds, which sets a career best. Zach Randolph, he's out muscling Powell Gasol. The shot goes up, you see him pushing Powell underneath the basket so he can get good offensive rebound position. The best defense on Zach Randolph tonight has been putting him on the free throw line. Of course, Randolph involved in a skirmish at practice where he actually landed a punch to Reuben Patterson, and Patterson obviously not playing this evening because of a fractured left eye socket. Uh, Patterson and Quintel Woods, the Memphian, got into it at practice, and then when uh, Reuben Patterson was being held back, Zach Randolph, a good friend of Quintel, stepped in and laid a punch. But really, uh, I guess you could say, you know, with Portland, you kind of, it's sad to say that you've almost come to expect these sort of things because they have been living in that sort of environment for quite some time. And that's unfortunate. It's definitely unfortunate. That organization, as well as the coaching staff, they're always on damage control, mm. trying to figure out something, getting someone out of trouble. Such a talented group. It's unfortunate that they have the all, have all the other problems. Although, Mo was trained well by Larry Brown and also, of course, Allen Iverson with the Philadelphia 76ers. And certainly a lot surrounds AI. That's one player. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> that was about five or six of them. I would imagine that ah! Mo Cheeks feels like he's been in Portland for 10 years, not two. Randolph throws it down. 
Portland by two. One of the few fast break opportunities by Portland since the first quarter. 15 points overall on the break. Blocked by Randolph. Woods into the front court. 4.30 remaining in the third. Wallace trying to get by. And the ball taken away on the interior pass to Woods. Out of the wing, Person. That's Wesley Person's shot. In transition, in rhythm. Nice pass by Jason Williams, knocked down the two. Four at 10 from the field, he has nine points, does West. Battier, the top scorer for the Grizzlies with 13, followed by Gasol with 12, and Swift with 10. Denied by Powell. 10 seconds on the shot clock, and it's Portland basketball. She Wallace trying to squeeze that one in to Zach Randolph. Powell Gasol, top side defense, knocking it out of bounds. McGinnis hesitant to give it to Woods. Looking to clear out on Randolph. Randolph, so difficult as he spins into the middle. He has 29 points. He's breaking through the record. 25. Foot. Randolph 25. continues to get to that jump hook. One dribble to the middle. Jump hook. Shoots it with the high arch. Defense can't get to it. Swift. And one. And Randolph commits a foul. Stromile showing the Blazers something a little different. Scouting reporters to play Stromile to his left hand. That time crossover to the right, all the way to the basket. Opportunity for the three-point play. Stromile Swift, impressive numbers, playing with that injured right thumb. And from the free throw line, he is a perfect three of three. And the Grizzlies regain the lead. Guinness. Wallace sets the screen underneath. Battier. Here's Williams into the front court. Powell wrap around. Stroh. Memphis by three. Tremendous vision by Powell Gasol with the wraparound pass to Strohmile. Grizzlies now beating the Blazers up the floor. Since the first quarter, Honk, the Grizzlies are shooting 66%. Woods, no, Wesley Person. With the exception of Zach Randolph, the Grizzlies have done, have done a tremendous job keeping everyone else off the offensive plan. Turnover. Stromau got in the air, didn't have anywhere to go with the basketball. McGinnis, and it's a one-point game. And a timeout taken by the Memphis Grizzlies. The Grizzlies lead by one, 71 to 70. 227 to go, third quarter action from the pyramid. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Better than he was before. Better, stronger, faster. AOL for broadband. Welcome to the World Wide Mike Sullivan is about to go to war. Get out! I'd like you to turn a blind eye to what I have to do. Against those in power. You rule this town as God rules the earth. Now, there's no turning back. Road to Perdition is the best crime drama since The Godfather. Tom Hanks, Paul Newman, Jude Law, from the director of American Beauty, Road to Perdition. Order it now on Blockbuster Pay-Per-View Movies. The best damn sports show, period. Sports television like you've never seen it before. Four idiots sitting around talking sports. Great television. Hang with the fellas. Cut loose with the stars. What the hell does this have to do with sports? Finally, a sports show that gets the picture. The best damn sports show, period, tonight on Fox Sports Net. Grizzlies by one time for the Dodge drive of the game. What a drive it was. Excellent pass by Pau Gasol. 
to Stromile Swift for the easy jam. Algasol, nice pass. Finish, Dodge, drive of the game. Tomorrow, another full weekend of racing action continues with Bush Series Racing presented by Subway. From Nashville, followed by Winston Cup practice on FX Sunday. Start your day with NASCAR this morning presented by Smirnoff Ice Triple Black on Fox Sports Net. Followed by Winston Cup racing from Martinsville on Fox. NASCAR continues this weekend across the Fox Networks. How about that? What a swing. And since Portland led 43. 23. The Grizzlies have outscored them 48 to 27 because of that shooting and really because of defense. Love the Grizzlies game plan. Lull Portland into a false sense of security. <laughs> Let them come out. Hot shooting. Then they turned it on. Gasol turning it on there. Monster move by Powell. To the baseline right in Rashid's face. Of course, one of the great comebacks in the history of the Grizzlies in Portland a year ago. Remember that Hawk down 25 and Memphis managed to come back. And that was midway through the third quarter when the Grizzlies came back to win that game. In Portland, no less. And up 25, Battier said one of the great parts of that evening. It's Gasol. Shot doesn't fall as it rims out Randolph. Releases ahead to McGinnis. McGinnis turns a corner, driving. Shot, no. Powell with his eighth rebound. McGinnis off the back rim, got all the way to the basket. Gasol, 16 points, eight rebounds. Memphis by three. Nice pass by Shane, good composure by Powell after losing it. To pick it up, not panic, nice jump hook. Shane said one of the great moments was seeing one of the greatest players of all time, Scotty Pippen, 37 years of age, with ice packs on his knees, have to take those ice packs off, put his shoes back on, and come back out on to the floor. <laughs> At that time, it was a little too late. The knees were a little stiff. Williams into the front court. Memphis by three and a chance for more. Jason Williams tonight has done a superb job of putting it on the floor and going to the hole. Of course, as I mentioned way back in the first half, Portland averages just over three blocks a game. And Jason Williams, he doesn't attempt a lot of free throws, but now at the line, attempting his fifth and sixth free throw of the, of the night. You see where he resides among the league leaders, tied with Stefan Marbury for third in the league, and I guarantee you, that if you ask fans around the NBA and in the top five and dimes in the NBA, a lot of them wouldn't come up with Jason Williams. They'd come up with the other guys, but Jason has spent a remarkable turnaround. It has been a tremendous turnaround, and give a lot of credit to Hubie Brown as well as Jason Williams for, for allowing himself to, to be subject to the system. He likes the system. He and Hubie Brown get along well. He goes out. He executes the game plan. Been a fantastic year out of for Jason. Grizzlies, another run. Jason Williams for the 24th time this year. He has double-figure assists. Gasol helps out of that situation. But then Wallace from the outside burns the Grizzlies. It's back to a two-point game. And unfortunately, Batiste helped out a little also and left Rasheed Wallace open behind the three-point line. Remaining seconds of the third quarter. Jason Williams, Gasol end line. Powell in the middle, left hand, got it. 18 for Powell, Memphis by four. And the third quarter comes to a close. Memphis trailed at halftime, 54 to 47. Down 20 at one stage, and majority owner Michael Heisley loving it. Memphis up by four as we go to the fourth. Thanks for letting me bring Fifi. Oh, anything for you, baby. I'd give you the moon, the stars, and the ultimate love potion. Ice cold, but light. Mm. 
Whoa! For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud okay, Light. Don't worry, I got him. I got him. Ooh. Hey, Ed. I'm really sorry you have to work late. I know you've got those season tickets to the game tonight. Oh, are you kidding, sir? Nah, I wasn't that excited about it. Seriously. <laughs> Sometimes you can't use your Grizzly season tickets. But you can sell them online or forward them to friends via email. Provided by Ticketmaster. Does Robo Cat cough up Robo Hairballs? It's metal, but that's not the point. The chips that power Robo Cat are only manufactured in Palo Alto, but the assembly plant is in Tokyo. If my girlfriend gets Robo Cat, would it be jealous of me? Of you? Yeah. No. Now focus. They ship the chips with FedEx International Services. Get time definite, reliable service to Tokyo. Robocat's the biggest thing to hit Japan since Godzilla. Did I get it? Yeah, you're fine. <sighs> Sam's Town, your first choice for entertainment, dining, and gaming excitement. Enjoy amazing golf on the Gym of the Mississippi. Your golf package includes one-night accommodations in a luxurious Whirlpool suite, green feed for two, special welcome gift, and a complimentary breakfast buffet for two. Book your golf package today by calling 800-456-0711. Make Samstown your first choice for fun. Samstown, just south of Memphis. Hubie Brown concerned about the productivity early on of Zach Randolph. Career best numbers for Randolph, 29 and 16. But Battier, sharp shooting from the outside, has left Mo Cheeks with a frown on his face and a look of bewilderment because the Memphis Grizzlies here at the pyramid after trailing by 20 now lead by four as we begin play in the fourth quarter. Matt Devon along with the Hawk, Percy Hawkins here in Memphis, Tennessee. The fourth and final meeting between these two teams. The Grizzlies 0-3 on the season against Portland. Both teams with four games remaining and of course for the Trailblazers certainly feeling the pressure of the Lakers in Minnesota on their backs in the standings in the Western Conference. And a foul on Zach Randolph to begin the fourth quarter. While the Memphis Grizzlies certainly want to finish above 500 at home. A franchise best. 27 wins already and still sights set on 30 wins. That would be phenomenal if they got the 30 wins after the start. Grizzlies got off to this season. In traffic, the Blazers come away with it. McGinnis along with Stoudemire, Woods, Wallace, and Randolph. Earl Watson, BK, Batiste and Swift on the floor along with Humphrey for UB Brown. Humphrey loses a handle as he was going for the steal. He has been impressive on the defensive end. Great anticipation, almost came up with it. Reading the pass into the post, coming off the weak side. Stoudemire, just one of four, two points and just three assists. Turns a corner, cut off, gets it back, gives it up. Wallace thinking about the three, steps inside the arc. Another offensive rebound for Zach Randolph. How huge has he been tonight? 18 boards, denied by Humphrey. Watson corrals it. Excellent defense, closing off the lane, getting to the offensive player before he gets in the paint. Since the first quarter, Portland shooting just 35%. BK, wide open J, no. Little change, BK coming off the screen and Earl Watson running the point. McGinnis. Batiste is there to clear it to Watson. McGinnis goes for the strip and Watson controls. Important for the bench to continue to play well, not lose the lead. Continue to play with the energy that they did in the first half. Wrap around, stolen away. Randolph, 31 points. Randolph is running the floor well. Played with a lot of energy tonight. 
here in the fourth quarter. Doesn't look like he's lost a step. First rounder. 2000. Humphrey, no. Stoudemire. Puffed out, Watson ahead to BK. Stroh, no, Watson with the tap. Four point game. Watson on the offensive glass. Excellent tip by Watson. Good defense initially by Machine Wallace. Playing the lob pass. Grizzly three on one break. Earl Watson with the tip in. Grizzly struggling just one to seven in the fourth quarter. Wallace gets fouled. Memphis by four, 905 remaining in the fourth. Earl Watson, good offensive rebounder for a guard. Goes in, in transition, gets the tip in. Play is a lot bigger than his size. Well, there's no question about that. Nine points tonight, four or five from the field. Rasheed Wallace, 15.6 rebounds on 6 of 12 shooting from the free throw line. He is two of four. Without Scotty Pippen, this team is seven and eight. And as you well know, Hawk, with the Lakers right on their heels, the last thing that the Blazers want to do is open up at Staples Center against the Los Angeles Lakers. Absolutely. This is an excellent chance for Maurice Cheeks to see exactly what the Blazers are made of. This is an extremely important game for them. Watson! Randolph another board. And Humphrey wraps up Wells. And a foul on Ryan with 8.51 to go. Bonzi Wells and the Portland Trailblazers trail the Grizzlies by three. Some companies offer only local and long distance, half of what you need. Settle for half? Not in my neighborhood. Bell South answers with everything, now including unlimited long distance. I want my calls to go a long way, not to mention my money. Choose your services and get up to $100 cash back. So call now. I want it to go like this. Hi, I'm Judy Fulton, and I want local, long distance, wireless, and internet, because I have a lot to say, and I need a lot of words to say it. And they say, yeah, you got it. Goodbye. Bell South. Listening. Answer. Reading is fun, and books are cool, too. I will read a book daily to learn something new. I will learn different words, and I will listen in school. The teachers read stories and share reading rules. I will my skills in every way. Reading is something I will do every day. Reading offers great adventures to me. Reading will help me be the best I can be. Oh, no. I don't know what could happen to Joey if the wrong cop got there ahead of me. You told me you never had a choice. You got one right here. Listen to me and listen to me good. If anything happens to him, then you'll answer to me. On Blockbuster pay-per-view movies. The best damn sports show, period. Tonight on Fox Sports Net. I know you're thinking, what in the world? You're not the only one. <laughs> Just a sample of the great stuff available online at grizzlies.com. The Grizzlies search for Superfan 2003. Hawk, quit <laughs> holding back that laugh. We need you to log on and vote. Send your favorite to the finals, which will be held at halftime of the season finale against Minnesota next week. So far, almost 30,000 votes have been counted. And don't forget the winner will receive a pair of season tickets and no. As uh, far as my understanding, according to our fine producer, Randy Stevens, that is not currently the leader. <laughs> the bad thing about that is 
he actually still sings better than I do. Yes. Well, and the other gentleman can play guitar, so he's got it over both of us. <laughs> <laughs> but does that make him super fan, 2003? Swift gets hammered. And a foul on McGinnis. One-point game. With 8.39 to go, and Strohmeyer Swift heads to the free throw line. And Swift tonight. 3-3 from the line, 15 points, 7 rebounds. Of course, when the Grizzlies put together that franchise best six-game winning streak, Stroh had six consecutive double-doubles. He was injured on March 22nd in New Jersey. He has battled through that, and tonight he's having his best game since being injured. He gets both. He gets the line more than any other Grizzly except now Gasol. Using his quickness going to the basket. And he has an excellent opportunity to, can do, to do that the rest of the way with Sabonis guarding him. Watch Sabonis! Grizzlies have the numbers. Five point lead. Memphis. Stoudemire the only defensive player back. Batiste, Humphrey right in the lane. Both of them can finish right over the top of Stoudemire. Another solid performance by Mike Batiste. Seven points and five rebounds. And a foul on Ryan Humphrey. And that is his fourth. How about Stroma blocking the sweeping hook of Sabonis? You won't see many guys do that. And Batiste right to the basket, right over Stoudemire. Stroh tonight with three blocks. Under 10 of the shot clock. Wells up fake on Humphrey. Fires over Humphrey. Cans it. Three-point game. Bonzi Wells from downtown on the season. Just a 27% three-point shooter. Bonzi Wells having a big night. Scoring and also chipping in with nine rebounds. And it was a two, so he has 20 points. And an offensive foul on Earl Watson. Three-point game with 7.32 remaining in the fourth quarter. Take a look to see if he was there. Like a late call. He was still sliding his feet. Difficult call in the fourth quarter. Give McKin McGinnis credit for flopping. Three-point game, 7.32 to go, and Watson leads along with Knight Person. And Jason Williams, Battier on the floor. Humphrey also out. McGinnis, Sabonis, Wallace, Wells, and Stoudemire. Now Zach Randolph, 31 points and 19 rebounds. Al Gasol getting some much-needed rest. He will check back in, next chance. Swift using his quickness. The double comes, but the reverse goes. Five-point advantage for the Grizz. What a shot by Stromau. Getting Sabonis to bite on a pump fake, using his quickness right around him with the tough layup. 13 of his 19 points here in the second half. Wells underneath. Bonzi Wells has 22 points on. Bonzi Wells using his size and his strength. Going around Shane, finishing at the hoop. Jason looking for Swift. Pass ripped off, taken back by Stroh. Memphis by three. Grizzlies get a new 24 second shot clock. Steve Wallace had possession of it, then it was stolen away from him. And a whistle and a foul on McGinnis as he is trying to stay with Wesley Person, who is working baseline and curling up toward the elbow. And how about the athleticism and the hang time of Stromas with baseline with the circus shot? He's feeling good here in the fourth quarter. Gasol. Back out on the floor for Batiste. Solid performance by the Long Beach, California native. Seven points, five rebounds. Powell, five of the shot clock. Spins, cut off. Skip pass, three. Difficult angle. Wesley should have shot it, didn't. And a turnover, shot clock violation. 
Wesley didn't recognize the shot clock was running down. Tried to make that extra pass, get it up to the basket some kind of way. The Memphis Grizzlies lead with 5.58 to go in the fourth after trailing by 20. Max, you're killing me. Hey, everybody jamming. Hey, man. She jamming. They jamming, too. Can a brother get a Bud Light, man? With a great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Make it a Bud Light. There's still a few places where the values of out here still matter. In here's one of them. Backyard Burgers. In here, Backyard Burgers chooses 100% U.S. Black Angus beef flame grilled to perfection. And only Backyard Burgers lets you customize your combo. Pair any sandwich and drink with fries. One of our baked potatoes or a garden fresh salad or even chili if you're a real cowboy. You get a great combo discount. Now you have a choice. Only at Backyard yeah. Burgers. Live to grill. Introducing 54321, the show that brings you inside the world of extreme sports. Under six minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter, and the Grizzlies lead by three. Nightly, it's a Southern Sports Report. 30 minutes of nightly sports news completely dedicated to the home teams throughout the South. For extended regional highlights and in-depth interviews, catch the Southern Sports Report nightly. 9 o'clock Central only on Fox Sports Net. Memphis shooting 50%. When they shoot 45% or better, they are 15 and 5 here at home. Gasol, 18 points, 8 rebounds. Swift, 19 points and 8 rebounds. Battier, 13, and Jason Williams, another double double. And I like the unselfishness, the shot distribution of the Grizzlies tonight. No player with over 15 shots. With a hand in the face, Wells can't handle it, but another offensive rebound. And a foul's going to be charged to throw. One of the things that the Grizzlies did deep into the first half, and then, of course, throughout the third quarter, they limited second-chance opportunities. And a second chance here for Portland. And they limited the second-chance opportunities, and the transition defense got a lot better than it did but then it was in the first quarter. From the outside. Tied at 87. Kyle Gasol on the pick and roll, helping off a little too far, giving Rasheed Wallace too much room behind the three-point line. He has 19 points, does Rasheed. Gasol, guarded by Wallace, spins back. Shot deflected, taken away by Sabonis. Give a lot of credit to Sabonis coming over with the help at the last second, forcing the difficult shot by Powell. Wallace two or three from downtown on the night. Sabonis, how do you stop that? You can't. <laughs> and he threw it down hard. Good pass by Stoudemire, drawing the defense. Sabonis rolling to the basket for the hard throw down. That's like a midnight train to Vilnius. J. Will. Memphis by one. How many times have we seen Jason Williams step up when the Grizzlies need a big basket, knocking down the big three? Williams with 13 points and 11 assists. The bigger person on Stoudemire. Stoudemire breaks free. Shot doesn't go, and Stroh with his ninth board. Stoudemire missing badly on that shot. No. Tapped up. Kept alive. Stromile Swift. What a night. Stromile keeping it alive. Shane Battier coming in, corralling it. Good decision. Throw it out. Set up a play. 
taking advantage of the size of Sotomayor. Person underneath. And the Blazers not recognizing that. Everybody on the weak side staying too close to their man. McGinnis looks for Wells. Wells fading. No. You have to ask yourself, where's Zach Randolph? And he's 31 points and 19 rebounds, Hawk. He's played 38 minutes. Maybe he wore down. Maybe he had nothing left for Mo Cheeks. But you do have to worry about that after the game he's had. Jay Will coming alive deep into the fourth quarter. Five-point advantage. 94-89. The Grizzlies lead. Jason Williams with a big three to regain the lead. And the two there. And Memphis back up by five. Tying their largest lead in the second half. Mac here, who you with? See, just because people say you know what I mean, don't assume you know what they're talking about. It's just a bad habit. You know what I mean? I was like, bam! My clothes, they were like, pow! I was telling everybody they were like, what? You know what I mean? <laughs> what is he talking about? That's one of them coats. You see that? Bam! He didn't get one. Where's my Pepsi at? Oh! He didn't ask for one. Boom! You know what I mean? Ask for Pepsi, you get a Pepsi. Boom! Are you a real fan? Want to see the replay? Want to be courtside? Have you ever been in a locker room? Need a photo? Need a score? When is game time? Did you catch that? And looking for some stuff? Then log on to NBA.com and check out all your favorite NBA apparel. To shop, log on to NBA.com or America Online keywords NBA.com. What are you doing? Experience the NBA online. NBA.com. 309 remaining in the fourth quarter. Jason Williams, 15 points and 12 assists. After Portland grabbed a quick lead, Jason Williams right back at him, takes it back away with the three at the top of the key. Starting guards, Grizzlies a combined 26 points. Portland a combined seven points. Sabonis on the inside, posting up. Well, second chance, and a foul's going to be called. And it's on Swift. And Wells heads to the free throw line, and Stroh disappointed in the call. Good defense. Denying first Sabonis with the jam. And Bonzi Wells, on the weak side, comes up with the offensive rebound. Gets himself to the free throw line. Wells from Marion, Indiana. Grew up in the same neighborhood as Zach Randolph. And they have combined for 54 of the 90 points for Portland. Wells gets the kind roll. If the Grizzlies don't come out on top in this game, they can look at offensive rebounding, no question. That's one of the biggest reasons why. Oh, no question. They've done a lot better job at the second half. Jason Williams, no. And Sabonis takes it away from Swift. Three-point game. Difficult shot by Jason. Defense all over him. Forced that shot in the corner. They're going to Sabonis. Bonus, he's getting good looks at the basket. Shots he normally knocks down. Can't make it tonight. Gasol puts it on the deck. Drive, swatted away by Sabonis. Shot, pops out. McGinnis pulls it back out. Wallace for three. No, Gasol handles it. Only seven second chance points for Portland in the second half. West. Tapped up, taken down by D.A. 
Anderson on the drive. Denied. Battier scoops it up. 139 to go. Memphis by three. Ruby Brown calming things down. Pace getting a little too hectic. 130 in the game. You're up three. Take your time. Get a good shot. 17,000 plus on their feet here at the pyramid. Triple drive. Gasol. Out of bounds. Portland basketball. And the look of despair on the face of Hubie Brown. A missed opportunity in this potentially one possession game. 94 91. Grizzlies lead. 120 to go. Ooh, you're a naughty little boy, aren't you? Keep it up, and I'm going to give you a spanking. I'll teach you the meaning of respect. You're not getting any of my butt light. Do you hear me? No kisses for you. Not till you learn to obey me. Now, get down on all fours. <laughs> With a great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Make it a Bud Light. Can you guys do wheelies and stuff? Introducing 54321, the show that brings you inside the world of extreme sports. Grizzlies NBA basketball on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by First Tennessee, all things financial. Dodge, grab life by the horns and by Bud Light. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Along the Mississippi River, the Grizzlies have been mighty tonight in their comeback. They now lead by three, 94-91. Second half has been controlled by the Grizzlies, as you see, with the Grizzlies have remaining no fouls to give. Wells will trigger it in from the half mark. Speaking of Zach Randolph, he's back in the game. Watch him on the offensive glass. 31 points, 19 rebounds. Bumping and grinding. Wallace denied by Gasol. And last touch by Wes. Portland basketball. Kyle Gasol. Great defense on the block. Not giving any ground to Rasheed Wallace. Then comes up with the block shot. But Rasheed out hustles him. Give Portland an extra possession. Anderson with a minute remaining. Short. Swift controls it. Takes it away from Randolph. Wallace pressuring the ball now. We'll head back up court. Portland closing this game the last three minutes. Have missed several shots badly. Heck, they haven't been close. Shooting 39% on the night. Six on the shot clock. Four on the shot clock. Williams. Shot doesn't go. Randolph with his 20th rebound. McGinnis out on the wing. Pulls up. Shot goes. And a one-point game, and Hubie Brown wants a timeout. And that was a huge shot by McGinnis. In transition, there was no one back to offensive rebound, but he knocked it down. McGinnis. Got West off of his feet. Swift just unable to deflect it. Get in the zone. Auto zone. If you haven't changed the oil in your car in the last three months or 3,000 miles, then you need to get in the zone. Auto zone. You see, if you don't change your oil and replace the filter often enough, then you'll do a lot of damage to your engine, and that'll lead to some costly repairs down the road. So get to AutoZone right now. Change your oil and get more life out of your car. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Okay. If it's blue, we're pregnant. Yeah. Okay, baby, look. No, no, honey, you, you do. You I look. can, I can't do it. Please, you. Really? Yes, yes. Okay. Well? Berets are gonna kill him. 
You take this thing. You can't be serious. Huh? Did you say something? Joe Miles Swift and the Grizzlies by one. Stromow leading the way for the Grizzlies tonight. 19 strong, 11 rebounds, a couple of steals, and three block shots. The Gatorade player of the game, and for Stroh, the first double-double since March 16th. The very next game, March 18th, against Minnesota in Minnesota. He had 16 points and five rebounds, which ended not only his string as six consecutive double-doubles, but the Grizzlies' six-game winning streak. And a foul on McGinnis. And they had one to give. If you're Portland, tough situation to be in. There's only 3.8 seconds differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Grizzlies can run it all the way down to nearly one. Take the jumper. Clock time may run out. Jason Williams holds it out high. You see the differential. Memphis by one. Jason, dribble drive. Pops out. Long rebound, Wesley Person. Wesley Person trapped and now gets fouled. With 3.2 tenths of a second remaining. Well, just like you had mentioned, Hawk, Shot clock going down, Jason made his move. But a one, huge rebound. It is the one thing that has haunted the Grizzlies all night. Offensive rebounding by Portland. Comes back to bite Portland here late in the game as Wesley picks up the offensive rebound, has a chance to get the Grizzlies up by three here with three seconds remaining. Person connects. Grizzlies eight of eight in the second half from the free throw line. Wesley Person, of course, one of the better free throw shooters on the Grizzly team, 81%. The last time he attempted a free throw was March 24th at Orlando. He was 2-2. Two two. He's 2-2 two two tonight. It had been a while, but you know Wes. It's not going to cool off. The veteran out of Auburn gets both free throws, and the Grizzlies now lead by three with 3.2 tenths of a second to go. Portland has possession of the ball. If you haven't changed the oil in your car in the last three months or 3,000 miles, then you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. You see, if you don't change your oil and replace the filter often enough, then you'll do a lot of damage to your engine, and that'll lead to some costly repairs down the road. So get to AutoZone right now. Change your oil and get more life out of your car. Get in the zone. AutoZone. You're bound to have a good time with Verizon Wireless and unlimited text messaging for only $2.99 monthly access. Plus, share unlimited night and weekend minutes on the America's Choice National Family Share Plan. So don't miss out on some surefire fun. Verizon Wireless, we never stop working for you. Grizzlies lead by three, 3.2 tenths of a second to go in the fourth quarter. And Memphis certainly knows all about heartbreaking losses. So Jason Williams had this on his mind. The advance out of parts play of the game. Memphis led by one after that three. Jason, 15 points, 12 assists this evening. And just two turnovers, plus a block. Wells, Wallace, Derek Anderson came into tonight. 17 for his last 35 from downtown, 48%. Wells or Wallace? Has to be one of those two, but surprisingly, Stoudemire not in the game. Their best three-point shooter percentage-wise. Anderson. No! The Memphis Grizzlies down the Portland Trailblazers after trailing by 20 points in the first half. Down seven at halftime, and UB Brown elated with this evening's comeback victory. What a night here at the Pyramid. The Grizzlies down the Portland Trailblazers, 
to 93 as Derek Anderson finishes 0 of 6 from three point range, Hawk. Great defense by Shane Battier, challenging the shot up top. Not a good look for Anderson, but give Shane Battier credit for staying down, challenging it, forcing the miss. The Grizzlies improved to a franchise best 28 and 51. We'll talk about it when we return. NBA action. All right, time now for the top 10 plays of the week in our NBA TV countdown. Starting us off at number 10, the Timberwolves look for their big ticket, Kevin Garnett. Oh, are you kidding me? Did he just do that? No, he didn't. Oh, that had to be some kind of, that was trick photography. I don't believe that. At number nine, the Detroit duo of Chauncey Phillips and Ben Wallace. Wallace with a two-handed dunk. When the help comes, everybody's going to drop, and that means the perimeter people got to get down and help the big guys. At eight, an alley-oop from the Nets, Jason Kidd to Kerry Kittle. Catch and slam, Kerry Kittles hammers it home. Boy, is that nice as Kerry Kittles gave him the signal, throw it up there. Checking in at number seven, it's Moochie Norris providing the fuel for the launch of a rocket, Steve Francis. Beautiful, Steve Francis with the one-handed jam. Well, that was a great play by Moochie Norris. In at six, Vince Carter may have missed, but Mo Peterson sure didn't. Beat away jumper, no. Stick that down, Mo Peterson! Are you kidding me? Talk about eating some big time NBA rim. <laughs> that was spectacular. At five, the Hawks with a touchdown pass and some extra points. They break Terry, he can he again. catch and shoot? Yes! Yeah! Hendo gets it again! <laughs> Hendo, the quarterback! And it's a three-pointer! Yes! Michael Vick eats your heart out! Coming in at number four. Ben Wallace leaves Ron Artest with a feeling of rejection. And that one is pulverized by Big Ben. Yeah, he got to that one. At three, the Grizzlies' Brevin Knight makes the steal. Ben makes the shot from long range. Sip to the basketball by BK. Launches. Oh! <laughs> Two, it's Jason Kidd with a pass off the glass to Richard Jefferson. Laying off window and a dunk is good. And at number one, here it is again, Kobe shooting down the Grizzly. Here's Bryant. Over Battier. Got it. 102-101. Kobe Bryant, 21 points. That's our show for this week. Last week, fans on NBA.com voted for this spin and slam by Vince Carter as the number one play of the week. And it's certainly worth another look. Remember, you can vote for your favorite play all season long by logging on to the league's official website, NBA.com. I'm Jim Fagan for NBA Action. See you next week.